There is no question that Global's wastewater recycling systems are the most exciting new product in the water industry today. Just think, elimination of wastewater sludge, the number one contaminant on the earth, and recycling wastewater effluent to potability so that you can reuse water in any manner you need or desire. But there are obviously some basic questions that arise, and we will try to answer them for you now. What is the basic extended aeration activated sludge wastewater treatment system? These systems have been around the oil and gas industry for over 30 years. They were created to eliminate the sludge. Obviously, one does not find large sludge fields on the drilling rig in the Caspian Sea. These systems have had three basic components. One, an aerobic digester, two, a clarifier, and three, a chlorination tank. In the digester, a bacteria flock of enzymes is created, which begins to eat up the sludge over a 24-hour period, constantly vacuuming from the clarifier back to the digester the scum that rises to the top and the sludge that falls to the bottom. After processing, the clarified effluent would have reduced the BODs and CODs, still with some suspended solids and with high E. coli. This effluent is held in a tank while it is heavily chlorinated to kill bacteria and then the effluent is dumped, usually, into the ocean. If this system were land-based, the dumping of heavily chlorinated effluent would contaminate existing wastewater systems or into the environment. What is the difference between the basic extended aeration activated sludge wastewater treatment system and a global water wastewater recycling system? The first difference between the old style extended aeration activated sludge wastewater treatment system and the global wastewater recycling system is the volume being processed. A global wastewater recycling system processes wastewater in one half the time. The second difference is the efficiency of sludge removal in the global system. The third difference, because of the sludge removal, is the elimination of BOD and COD. The fourth difference is the quality of effluent output from the global system. What are the properties of the affluent from a global wastewater recycling system? After the clarifier, the effluent flows into Global's recycler component, which captures all suspended solids down to 5 microns. When the recycling becomes saturated, which is determined by pressure, the global system automatically backflushes the recycler, sending all of the captured suspended solids back to the aerobic digester. This provides more fuel for the bacteria to eat, creating faster sludge digestion. The effluent that clears through the recycler now enters the global LS3 water purification process. This is basic water 101. We filter to 1 micron to remove parasites, we adsorb and absorb to remove hazardous chemicals, and we use ultraviolet to kill bacteria and viruses. The wastewater effluent is not the best quality water. How often do you need to clean a global wastewater recycling system. Global Water suggests that it should be vacuumed about once every five to seven years. If you live in a desert environment, you will have to vacuum more often, as the system devours the organics, but not the inorganic slice sand. Is the global system more cost effective? Absolutely. Less steel is needed, no chemicals used, fewer personnel are needed to operate. You need a fraction of the land, and most important is the elimination of sludge fields, elimination of sludge handling. When you add the cost of sludge handling to the equation, Global's truly green, environmentally correct wastewater system is far more cost effective. Add to all of those savings the value from reselling or reusing the recycled water, and your economics are beyond great.